Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Along with me today we have Sharoz and Sharoz is actually fantastic. I mean, you'll be surprised to know he achieved nine band in IELTS speaking. Like you know, he is a non-native speaker of English, and uh, uh, I think Sharoz is actually an evidence for us that nine band in speaking is possible. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. So, uh, like this is my fourth interview with Sharoz. You guys asked me, actually requested me, so that's why I requested Sharoz, and he's kind enough to be here with me, and we're going to record another speaking test. So, yes. Sharoz, should we start? Absolutely, sir. Go okay. For it. Thank you. <laughs> So let's take a start. Is summer your favorite time of the year? Uh, for a lot of people, summer is their favorite time of the year. But for me, I'm not exactly a fan of summer. I'm a fan of winters. But I feel that time where winters is almost going away and summers is coming, I think that's the sweet spot. I think that's the favorite time of the year for me. Okay. What do you do in summer when the weather's very hot? Oh, I stay inside. Okay. That's that's exactly what I do. I just turn on the AC. I sit inside. I play my favorite PlayStation game. Uh, do a lot of reading. But I try to not go outside because if you go outside in this weather, you'll get a severe tan, and that's something I'm not a fan of. Okay. So, yeah. uh, do you go on holidays every summer? I mean, I wish I had that kind of a money. I would definitely go on holiday every summer. But no, last time I went was I think two summers back. Uh, it was in Murray. So I had a great time there, by the way. Okay. Did you enjoy the summer holidays when you were at school? Now that I think of it, yes. Because summer holidays was the only time when we didn't get to do anything. And we used to chill and sit back at home. I used to eat a lot. Eat a lot of ice creams, all my favorite foods and do nothing. I think that was the best part of being a child. And I okay. actually miss that okay. now. And uh, what's your favorite season? Uh, my favorite season is winters. Uh, primarily because I get to wear a lot of good clothes uh, and you're not worried about the tan all the time. So I think winters has to be my favorite season. Okay, that's good. We now move on to IELTS speaking part two. Sure. Uh, you have the topic already. You will have to talk about the topic for one to two minutes. You have one minute to think about what you are going to say. You can make some notes to help you if you wish. Okay. You will now have to speak on this topic for one to two minutes. Great. So for a lot of people, owning a luxury item might mean getting their favorite watch, getting a PlayStation for many kids, getting their favorite luxurious car. Uh, but for me, owning that luxury item would mean that I get my hands on my very own personal chopper or helicopter uh, for the city. Uh, basically, what it would look like, plain black, um, luxurious look and something that helps me escape the traffic that's the main reason why i'm getting it because i just don't like the city traffic even if i get a luxurious car uh the biggest car in the city i will still have to get stuck in the traffic and that's just something that i'm not a fan of so to sum it all up i would like to own a chopper of my own that's completely black in color that helps me escape the traffic but also makes me look cool at the same time that's something that i would want as well do i feel like i can own this uh, maybe not right now, but if I work hard for a couple of years, I feel like I might be able to achieve it and escape the city traffic once and for all. All right, thank you. We now move on to IELTS speaking part three. Which expensive items would many young people like to buy? This day and age is all about getting the most expensive phone uh, because the phone is something that has everything. You don't have to buy a camera separately. You don't have to buy a radio separately. So I think people in this generation would want to get their hands on the most expensive smartphone, whether it's Android or Apple. Uh, that's what this generation would primarily okay. focus on. How do the expensive items that younger people want to buy differ from those that older people want to buy? The main difference between the younger and the older generation is the technological gap. Uh, of course, there were lesser options when uh, in the previous years and people back in that age, uh, as far as I remember, as far as the conversations that I've had with my grandparents or my parents, all they would want is just a decent car that would get them from one place to another. Uh, they would have zero interests in owning phones, mobile phones, televisions. Uh, but in this day and age, I see that a lot of people want to get their hands on the latest smartphone, the fanciest clothes 
and surprisingly they don't care much about owning a luxury luxurious car so i think that's the main difference that i okay. see in this channel do you think that people are more likely to buy expensive items for their friends or for themselves um i've come across people with both uh, with different types of natures and i feel that uh, people can buy for their friends as well uh, but given the data and given where we're headed i think that this generation is uh, self loving so i think that's why they prefer to spend money on themselves and self grooming and buy presents for themselves more okay. than they would want to for their friends all right that's awesome so with these answers shah rose achieved nine band okay i mean we got the proof of it as well because you know that's what we say there should be an evidence and by the way shah rose is on youtube as well and uh, very soon he's going to start his uh, uh, own podcast. podcasts as well so you can just see him there and there is something surprising uh, i mean uh, below this video shah rose has commented and that comment is on top so you can just go to his channel and you will find something surprising about him i don't tell you about that but you will find something surprising and then you will say wow okay so sharos thank you very much once again uh, for, for coming us. here you, upon my request and uh, thank you guys for watching this video i also teach ielts online all over the world and on campus here in lahore if you want to be the part of my online or on campus ielts classes my whatsapp number is given you can contact me for that asad yakub and sharos we both wish you best of luck take care allah hafiz